bodybuilding. I loved it. The one thing that has always kept me grounded every time It's like I was put on this earth to either carry block and do hard labor or be a bodybuilder. Bodybuilding makes me feel like I'm unstoppable. <laughs> Just being crazy. Yeah. Twenty six years. 26 years I've been working out. It's a long time. It's longer than some of you guys have been alive. It is for the wild, wild people of the world. That's why I loved it, dude. Nothing like struggling under a barbell. Nothing like it. If you want to be a savage, you got to do savage shit. I'm going to feel a sense of euphoria. A sense of satisfaction that I can't get nowhere else. Why was I good at it? Because I was willing to sacrifice it all. All the sweat all the passion that I had for anything was going to separate me from everyone else. It's got to get ugly to feel it. You have to pull it out of yourself. It ain't all about how you look. It's about what you got. There's no book. There's no book on how you're supposed to live. You just kind of live it and go with it. Whenever you get kicked and you're down on the ground because life kicked you in the stomach and then it kicked you when you were down, it will kick you even harder and harder and it will make you feel like you can't stand back up. That's life. I know the type of place that this world can be and how it can treat you and what it can do to you.
whether you'll win today or lose today, you still have to wake up and do work tomorrow. I am an absolutely ruthless human being at times. I've had some really bad days. I've had some times that I'm not very proud of myself. I know what it's like to have nothing. I starved before. I'm just a dude from the wood shop. Young kid growing up just knew how to work hard. I never had big dreams of making millions of fucking dollars. I stood in line for Jay Cutler. I stood in line for Ronnie Coleman. I stood in line for Victor Martinez. I was like, I want to be one of those guys one day. I knew how to work really hard and I knew that some people made it and maybe I could do it. So I just worked ungodly hard. But I always remember my mom and dad telling me, if you ever get famous, don't get a big head. Just be you. Be yourself. HWMF. Relentless.